guys, today we are unboxing the doll statue from Bloodborne by Gecko. Uh, first up, here is the box. On the front we have the doll, of course. And here are the sides. It's a nice box, and let's open it up. So this comes with a little card to display with the statue, it's a nice little touch. So here she is uh, assembled, but I can get her pegs to be placed properly over here so she has like one feet not placed correctly and because of that she's not perfectly straight. Alright, so this is a PVC piece and it feels very light and let's start with a size comparison. First with a uh, 6 scale figure and you can see the doll is very tall, she's about 13 inches tall and here she is with the Hunter, also by Gecko, and with the Bloodborne Diorama from the PlayStation VR store and a Japanese uh, Bloodborne limited edition. So you can see She's taller than the hunter. Some people thought it was weird, but this is accurate. She is taller than a standard hunter in the game. Alright, so uh, now here is my 360 view of the statue. Um, so before going any further, I just want to mention that my statue is missing a piece she is missing the collar that is supposed to go right here around her neck so uh, this is not normal and I will contact Gecko to try to get a replacement um, that said I will still do this review with this piece I have over here because it's just a little detail and you almost don't see that she's missing a piece. And now let's look at the details on this and as always I'm very happy with the quality Gecko provided. Uh, this piece is very well detailed, well painted, well sculpted. So uh, let me show you some close-ups so you can judge by yourself the quality of the statue.
and now my comparison with the prototype. So uh, this one is top notch. The final product looks just like the prototype. I have nothing to complain about. And finally is this piece accurate? Uh, yes it is. As I said, the size is accurate. She is taller than the hunter, just like in the game. And uh, the lamp on the back and the rocks also looks just like in the game. All the details are accurate. Uh, once again, Gecko, usually they're very good at this, making accurate pieces. And this one is very accurate. So that's pretty much it for this review. Uh, this is an awesome piece, super well detailed, super accurate. The only complaint I can have about it is that it feels very light because it's PVC and it's $300. That's very expensive for a PVC piece. Uh, at this price, I think it should be resin, not PVC, or maybe keep it PVC but make it make it cheaper, make it more affordable. Uh, that said, what really matters to me is how the statue looks, not the materials, not so much the materials. So if it looks good, I'm happy, and this one looks good, so uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And it's, it's just as good as a resin piece. You'd even say it's resin until you take it in your hands and realize it's PVC. So I do not regret buying this, uh, I think it was worth it. It's a nice little piece to add to my Soulsborne collection. And uh, that's pretty much it for this review. Once again, I hope it helped you a bit. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. Uh, this statue is still available from Attack Your Mode if you're interested. And you can get 5% off your first order with the uh, Refer a Friend link in the description. Just be aware that it ships free, but it ships only to the uh, United States and Canada. So, uh, thanks for watching guys, do not hesitate to check my other reviews and uh, have a good day.